Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on Informatica MDM. In today's tutorial, we are going to see what are the recommendations for the MDM hub. So far, we have seen the recommendation at database, database side, application server side. But the, the recommendations, one which we are going to discuss today, are more important as an Informatic MDM hub developer. Because whenever you start developing, there are so many questions will come in your mind. What the, what should be the value we should give? Whether we should enable this parameter or not? To whom should we check? So Informatica has provided some recommendation. So I think those are more than enough for the initial configuration or for the basic uh, business implementation. If you want to optimize those, of course, we have the opportunity to optimize those. But we should know what are the basic parameters or what are the basic values for these parameters. And this is very, very important recommendations. Uh, I think you will definitely get a, a good knowledge about the MDM hub if you go through this tutorial. So let's start today's tutorial. So specifically talking about the Informatic MDM hub, the first parameter we will consider what are the number of ORS we create uh, per probably in the development environment or the QA environment, we create so many ORS or we create the IDD application, but we never use those. So we call such a ORS or IDD application obsolete or which are no more in use. So remove such IDD applications and the ORS in order to achieve the better performance. Obsolete IDD application and ORS schemas impact the performance of the server startup, runtime memory, and the SAM profile caching. So if you are not able to access the application and if you have the problem with the server startup, that means you have so many ORS configured, you have so many IDD application created which is not being used. So go ahead and remove these applications and non-used ORS from the MDM hub server installation. Next thing is order of authentication. Now suppose you are using the LDAP or any other external authentication in your organization. Make sure you have configured the, the security provider, of a, a first security provider which is actually doing the authentication for the huge volume of the users. So if you change the sequence, the impact will be the different also. So configure the security provider in order with the first provider being the provider which authenticates the AVC user load. If you want to read the some more recommendations, like each authentication request has a cost of few milliseconds associated with it. The number of authentication requests is reduced significantly by using the user profile cache. So this is very important for the security and the user experience perspective. Next thing, maximum thread count for the thread pool. So this is very basic question. So whenever you configure, we should know this count. So what should be the value? Default value is definitely there, but we should know the optimum value and the optimum value what Informatix says it's a more than 300. If you're using the JBoss application, there is a uh, property called as a thread pools and the property name is thread pool name. It's a default and the maximum thread count is a, we can give the value is 300. So this is regarding the thread pool. Next thing is maximum connection the http connection pool so if you are using the http connection to access the mdm hub what will the connection pool for the http protocol so you can give the 300 or higher values this is what the recommendation from the again informatica and if you're using jboss application server there is a call, property file called as a standalone hyphen full.xml and it has the property called as a connector where we can configure the HTTP connection pool size. The most important property next is JDBC logging level. We should turn it off because it generates lots of log for the each transaction. If you enable this property, your database performance will, will have the impact. We can configure this property in the JBoss standalone full.xml if you are using the JBoss application server. If you're using WebLogic, WebSphere, they have the corresponding properties files where you can modify those. Next is transaction timeout. It should be greater than 3600, uh, 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 which is in the second. So which will actually give us the timeout instead of uh, application server and the database 
continuously try to process the request which is have some um, more number of joins or the more number of uh, huge volume of data which will cause uh, show issues so at least we can give the uh, some kind of timeout so that if the request is not being processed within that time that request should get timeout and it should get automatically killed so that is the main purpose of transaction timeout here they are recommending if you have the high volume of data if you have the optimum number of processor normally it is one hour is time we can configure ideally um, so for the projects upon which i work normally i configure for the five minutes uh, 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 five minutes as a timeout, not more than that. Production mode. Um, this is the property, of course. If you have used the MDM Hub, when you configure the CMX uh, ORS or any other ORS in the MDM Hub, you will come to this property under the database properties section. We have to enable this property only if it is production environment. If you're using development or any other environment, not product environment we should not enable this what this property is do uh, actually uh, this property is very helpful to remove the additional overhead of the pre-scheduled daemons so those what are those pre-scheduled daemons daemons those are daemons nothing but they, these are the services or the threads which actually refresh the metadata cache so in the production environment it is not required because we are not making changes very frequently in the production environment so we can enable by that way we will we have the better performance if you enable this property in the production in the lower environment or the non-product environment we actually make the changes very often so we need to have this metadata refresh very often so do not enable this property in the non-product environment next few recommendations are batch api interoperability so this property again at the database level if you go to the database and database property section why we need to enable this property it is not hard and fast we have to enable this property but if you are using safe api to develop the custom web service or if you are using id application then you have to enable this property to achieve the row level locking instead of table level locking enabling this configuration has an impact on the performance so if you enable this property, of course, there is a row level lock. So make sure um, you will have the performance hits also for your load or any other jobs. We have to enable the configuration if the batches and the real time API, that means CIF API or IDD are used. If your application uses neither real time API updates or nor IDD, then do not enable this property. During initial data load, we actually means Informatica recommend disable this property. Once it is done, the initial data load, we can enable this property for the achieving better performance for the jobs. Next is auditing. Disable the auditing completely. This is what Informatica tells us to achieve the better performance. Auditing introduces additional overhead and we should must disable this property write lock monitor interval so this property you can see in the cmx server dot properties like cmx dot server dot write lock dot monitor dot interval suppose your mdm hub is used by the multiple users and if the same schema is used by the multiple user at the same time we should have the caching enabled so that if one user making some changes that should be reflected in the other users profile or other users login so for that how often we want to refresh so that is the interval and this what are the interval 10 is given it is in nothing but the seconds child based object this is very critical um recommendation i would say because this is related to more like uh, data model design when you design any data model for the mdm make sure you have the minimum number of childs for the base object for which you have configured a match and merge or the match columns if you have the too many childs and you're going to do the match and merge or unmerge on that table it is definitely going to impact match columns keep the optimum number of match columns try to avoid so many match columns even if you are not using a match column in the match rules it will have the impact on your jobs 
so it does not mean uh, you configure and if you are not using that means uh, it is just convenient it is not that way if you configure it will consider for during the load job for the creating those uh, uh, strip keys or the tokenization so make sure uh, use the optimum number of match column try to avoid the match column which are not required by that way you can achieve the more good performance for the tokenization and the match job next property is lookup indicator so lookup indicator uh, property is normally configured for the lookup table so the reference table such as state country where we can achieve the lookup if your table is purely base object it's not a reference table such as party table do not enable this lookup indicator property for such an object which is where it is not required if you enable the lookup make sure you have to face the memory issue so that is the reason because the lookup table or the reference tables are very small in size and if you enable the lookup look lookup will achieve, we can achieve the better uh, performance for lookup uh, data if your volume is high if, if, and if you enable the lookup on such a table your impact on the per uh, performance will be on the load job or any other job will be a, a problematic so it will have the problem of the memory issues it's your idea application will be slow and there will be slower rate of lookup cache refresh so that these are the problems will happen lookup display name configure lookup display name to be same as the lookup column so this is just recommendation history we actually might be you got uh, whenever you go and start the project we initially think whether we need the history or not um, how critical for us to maintain the history because data uh, which we enter in the system it grows over the period of time and of course it's a history also grows rapidly consider the period of 10 years how many gb's data will be there in the system so there will be records in the base object there will be record in the history there will be records in the history cross reference there will be record in the cross reference and there are so many supporting tables so your size of database will be very huge so the deciding history enabling is very critical and aspect for the mdm implementation so enable history if you want to retain historical data for specific base object otherwise disable it next important pro parameter is cross reference promotional history so we have to enable this uh, cross reference promotion history if you want to retain the historical data for specific base object as like history but this will contains more for the promotional data like if you have the upstanding minus one one zero how the promotion will behave uh, with uh, specific cases if you want to trust on those in that case this promotional history x ray promotional history will help but it is a very optional thing it is not necessary we have to enable always now the trust trust is very important so many major uh, so many jobs in the mdm will have the impact tokenization or the specifically the merge on and merge thing configure trust only for the required column if if there are some column which are not uh, going to uh, required for the survive ship do not configure the trust for such column because if you configure a trust for such column higher uh, your performance hit will be there a higher number of trust columns and the validation rules on a single base object incur higher overhead during the load process and the merge process if the more trusted and validated co validated columns are implemented on the particular bo your SQL will be running for the long time and which will generate uh, are generated to update the control table and the validation table minimum trust minimum number of trust and the validation column to conserve the good performance it is like obvious if you configure the more number of uh, more number of columns for the trust and the validation uh, the functionality to uh, maintain the metadata for such column will be enabled and definitely to maintain that, that there, there will be extra overhead so that is the reason optimize your trust enable column if it is not required do not go and enable 
case insensitive search so this search is very important if you want to search on the party name where you don't want to consider the case sensitiveness or if you want to enable the search on the address part one where you don't want to consider the case sensitive case sensitiveness then in that case configure on the varchar uh, varchar data type column if you are enabling on the number integer or any other data type other than varchar you will get the issue of the performance so enable specifically on the varchar column only uh, the next recommendation and these are specifically for the message trigger setup message trigger is used to publish the data to the downstream system so you have you might have the multiple system which are consuming the mdm data so what are the considerations we have to uh, need to we we need to consider so the first thing is avoid configuring multiple message trigger for different event types so there are so many event types we can configure in mdm for each event do not configure a specific uh, we can configure a specific uh, queue so if you have the so many events make sure uh, suppose update and insert whether it is possible to get only update uh, events or do we really need the insert events so do consider all the business scenario do not configure everything what are the events we have because if you enable the multiple events it will have the uh, issue on the your jobs because triggers are configured or the events are configured at the table level so if you are configured like the update or the event event or if you configure delete event if delete event is not required do not configure because we mostly do not delete the record if you delete the record and if you want to publish such record to the downstream system then and then only configure so before deciding the what are the triggers we need to configure just discuss with the business and take a approval on those and then and then configure such triggers otherwise do not blindly go and configure those events because it will have the impact on your load job tune message trigger queries the base approach to tuning the query is using the explain plan so it is more kind of a database side uh, approach we can follow we can check the explain plan which is the fastest plan we can analyze and we can apply that throughput can be greatly improved if you increase the receive batch size and reduce the message check interval so this is uh, it this property is more interacted with the cmx system that is the main system for the mdm so the message queue monitoring setting has a major impact related to the throughput message posting time configure this setting from the hub console in the mrm that is cmx system in the configuration section avoid unnecessary column selection in the message trigger if there is no required any specific column um, to be suppose uh, we have the party name and party secondary name and it, if you don't want to send this party secondary name to the downstream system do not configure any update insert delete on the party secondary name column if it is not required if you just select that it will again cause us issue on the load job so make sure you configure the uh, triggers on required columns only so these are the few recommendation from the informatic mdm for the hub related recommendation this is the first part i'll be loading uh, uploading the second part of the video shortly so keep watching this space and do not forget to subscribe my channel if you have any questions you can mention in the videos in the comment section of this video have a fun have a nice time